Well, hello. This is the Volcar Warrener. Uh, as you may have noticed from my last couple of videos, I have been recording actual proper gameplay of GTA 5. This isn't because, as I may, if you've seen you previous videos, such as my Fallout 3 ones, you will know that I now have an Algata, which means. I can start recording console games, which is exactly what I wanted to do. In this video, as I said, it's the, the Vol I thought it was I thought it was Volcan or whatever. Uh, if you look at the the way the end letter is on Volcar, it is an R. If you look at the R in Warriner. Anyway, this is the Volcar Warriner. I thought Right, uh, but this, this is all offline. There is, there is no way I would try and do this online because, uh, unless it was like in a solo session, uh, people are just complete dicks. You would just not get anywhere. I probably wouldn't even get to a garage without being blown up. So, right, I thought, yeah, I'm going to do it offline. I'm gonna, uh, just in the main game, uh, using Franklin, which is why. As you can see, all the prices are free because this is the garage that Franklin owns in the game. If you decide to buy it, obviously. Um, as you may be able to tell as well, that it's been sped up. It's like two times the speed because I thought, well, you're not going to want to sit there while I mess about looking at stuff and trying things and whatever. So, speed it up a little bit. Um, it basically turned out literally about half the time that I actually recorded. I, re I recorded about 20 minutes or so and cutting bits out and blah 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 it ended up at just under 10 minutes. So, anyway, uh, this is the PlayStation 3 version by the way. Uh, yeah, instead of getting the Xbox 360 version which pretty much everybody I know got that version. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I didn't want to play online, I hadn't got Xbox Gold anyway. So what do I do? I buy the PlayStation 3 version, thinking, yeah, that's free to play online. And I, I don't, I have literally know nobody uh, who I'm on friends with on Twitter, and even in real life, who play the PlayStation 3 version of Grand Theft Auto online. So that's kind of a bit of a stupid thing to do, wasn't it really? <laughs> what I have been considering doing, because I know, I, I just know, uh, when the Xbox One version comes out, people that, have, that are playing the Xbox 360 version, if there's the chance, like has happened before, that you can upgrade from the Xbox 360 version to the Xbox One version for something like 10 quid, it might actually actually be worth getting a pre-owned version, a pre-owned copy of Grand Theft Auto V, which I think you can find at the moment for about 17 quid, and then just upgrading for 10 quid. That basically means it's cost what 27 quid for the Xbox One version. I'm hoping they're doing that. I mean, I would have liked to. Have, oh, and there we go. The car's finished. Chan cha cha chan 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 Oh, and for some reason it's doing that twice. Okay, I'm sure I didn't edit it like that, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, nice blue and... That, that's pure gold. That's one of the new colours in the uh, I'm Not A Hipster DLC update. This car is for my car by the way. I was using Franklin to upgrade the car, to mod it to the, the full thing and everything. Uh, because Franklin can do it free. <laughs> so, uh, what I did is I, I, I drove the car to Franklin's house as Michael. Uh, and, and as you can see there, that one's Amanda's car, which Franklin uh, customised ages ago. But anyway, I thought, right, 
I will get Franklin to fully customize a car for Michael. And uh, the, I thought, well, Michael's a bit boring. Oh, no, this is. A, this, oh, forget everything else. Right? The, uh, I'm tr trying to commentate on the video. This is the funny thing. The family are there in the car. Now, hold on a minute. Why has Michael just said goodbye to Amanda? Amanda was just at home. So, let's go home with Michael. Amanda's car has gone, and the daughter's car is there. I forgot her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can never remember the daughter's name because she was that insignificant. The car is not outside the garage where I left it. It's not inside the garage where I thought it might have been. It was not outside on the road. So I'm kind of thinking, well, right. What's happened is that Michael, uh, Michael's gone. Kind of situation has completely changed. Franklin is nowhere to be seen. I mean, he, he would probably still be hanging around here because I drove here pretty quick, and there's nowhere to be seen. It's uh, the, the game kind of messed things up for me. I was thinking, oh yeah, right. Oh, family! I'm and home. then, uh, hello. Um. Why is Amanda sitting on the sofa with the kids? I have literally just left her. Really she got out the car, she walked off to wherever. I just drove, drove home with Michael and Amanda's there. So, I think, right, well, let's change back to Franklin. Franklin is still outside. Although he wasn't there just. And for some reason, he's a bit stuck. I can't do anything with him. I can't look around. I can just kind of walk backwards and forwards a bit. Uh, then all of a sudden it works again. So, yeah, the game kind of messed me up. But the main thing with this was uh, the customization of that Volcar Warrener. Uh, as you could tell, so then Michael asks if we want to engage, and I say no, which I did a bit later on. But with Franklin, I thought, right, okay, so I've gone back to him. No car. The car has gone. Now, I'm not sure if. It's probably my fault for parking the car on the drive because. Whatever happens with Michael, everything kind of resets, and if there's anything on the property, it will disappear, go somewhere else, or whatever. So yeah, I kind of messed that up. Um, but yeah, you got to see that car being modded. Uh, I, I haven't been doing any commentaries on the other videos, um, because I am still waiting for a microphone that I ordered from eBay. Yeah, the dreaded eBay, which I try and avoid if I can, but the the, uh, the blue the blue ice snowball, whatever microphone, it was a good price. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. And uh, yeah, I'm still waiting. Even though I've contacted the seller, he said he sent another one in, so I should be getting that very soon. At the moment, I don't know if you can probably tell by the sound, I'm still using my old headset for now. But hopefully, in future uh, videos, my voice will sound a lot better because of using the Blue Snowball mic. Um, but for now, I would just like to say thank you for watching, and please join me next time in more videos.